I cannot do any research on any of the topics I cover. It's in my contract. Welcome back to this week's episode of High Fantasy. It's been a while. Uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of nerd news other than like Marvel stuff. They did a really good job covering it themselves. AJ is, he's feeling a little bit under the weather, so he's going to let me do most of the talking. He was feeling good enough to come in, so at least we, at least we'd get him. Whatever. We're actually going to start this show off with some Dungeons and Dragons news. There's another edition coming out. This isn't about the movie. This is about the tabletop game itself. They just announced on Dungeons & Dragons' YouTube channel, you can go over and check out the official announcement, the next edition of D&D. It is called One D&D. It's not necessarily the next edition. They pull the best parts from each edition, plus whatever uh, the fans have been inputting throughout the years, and combined it into... Well, they're still combining it into one D&D. And that's pretty freaking cool, dude. I'd say that's pretty freaking cool. How about you, AJ? Okay. All right. Well, he's pretty excited, believe it or not, because he plays D&D too. Why are we excited about this next edition of D&D, though? We've been waiting for a new edition for some time. Also, we uh, were bitching about like the rumors of what we heard was going to be coming in the next edition of D&D. We heard that they were going to get rid of uh, like traits for each race and that they were just going to make all races like just have the uh, you put your ability scores in whatever category, which wouldn't make sense if you're a dwarf or an orc or an elf because like there's physiological differences. They each have their benefits. Um, their advantages. Otherwise, who wants to play an orc if they don't get plus two strength and uh, the undying feat where you come back to one hit point? So that's not true. That rumor was absolutely not true. And the people from D&D Beyond uh, came out on YouTube and said that they're actually enhancing the racial features. Uh, in fact, each race is going to get their own like perks and they, they, they get more stuff. So you get more abilities, ability score improvements, all of that stuff. Anyways, you can go check it out on the Dungeons & Dragons YouTube channel. It is just Dungeons & Dragons. Our worries are washed away for that. If you've been playing D&D 5e, uh, you probably know that spot on your character sheet where it says background. You get to come up with your character's background, but unless you have like a really good DM, that doesn't mean nothing. But in one D&D... Your background, which is what you were doing before you got to this campaign uh, as a character, your backstory, right, actually has an effect on your play style. Because with your backgrounds, you get feats. You get feats based off of your backgrounds. You get ability scores based off of your background. You get equipment, starting equipment based off of your background. And so it just makes more sense to have a background in this game now than before um, because before like a lot of people left the background slot pretty bare unless they were like really into the role play which is perfectly fine that's what we do we're pretty excited for a lot of these updates also they're going to have a 3d simulator for online players that is on unreal engine where it showcases all of the tabletop minis a lot of that is coming down the road and they have the trailers out for it so when is it coming 2024 unfortunately we do have to do a little bit of waiting yeah i know aj it, it's i'm i'm really looking forward to it too but before i get into this next segment i actually um i'm getting pretty parched as you can hear my throat's pretty dry hey beer goblin what? What? can you give me a beer yeah. thank you ah. <laughs> all right so next i wanted to talk about this little video game series in the midst of coming out called the dark pictures anthology series and specifically one of the games from there that is called house of ashes it looks really awesome i saw a little play trailer for it you can watch it on the youtube which is where you're at right now hopefully it takes place in uh fucking the middle east where we just had a war where was that aj iraq yeah yeah, yeah. It takes place in iraq these soldiers they fall down into this cave and you actually have like uh guns and stuff but it's a survival horror game 
where like the cave creatures start picking you off by one by one. So that's pretty exciting. And it's on like, if it's not Unreal Engine 5, it's something that looks really good and really smooth. And it might be one of the coolest horror games I've seen coming out within the last couple of years. Now, that's it for the video game announcements and the Dungeons and Dragons announcements. To wrap this video up, I did want to talk about shit that I'm going to be watching and reviewing on this show. Upcoming releases. September 2nd, we're getting the Rings of Power. If you're not familiar, it's a Lord of the Rings show. As far as we're concerned, it's the Silmarillion, right? Yeah, I don't do research on this shit. I just do, I do baseline. I, I look at titles, and then apparently I report on them. So it'll be out by the time you watch this. House of the Dragon. Game of Thrones prequel about the Targaryens. We're getting it. We're getting everything we ever wanted. We're getting more Game of Thrones. We're getting more Lord of the Rings. We're getting more Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, horror games, survival. We're, we're getting all of it. And then down the line, we're getting some really cool video games as well, but we can't cover that. We don't have any time. So if you want us to have more time, then uh, go ahead and slap that subscribe button. Uh, click the like button. And then uh, I'll see you next week on High Fantasy. In a constant state of fear.